Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a power pivot query to get a slicer to talk to multiple tables. Now as you know in normal Excel, a slicer can talk to multiple pivot tables, but they have to come from the same data source. What we're going to do is we're going to get the slicer to talk to multiple pivot tables coming from different data sources. So what we'll do is we'll take you right through from start to finish. Now you can pick up the file at the bottom of this video. So there's a link underneath, pick up the file there, and then you're all good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three tables, one for our location, one for our revenue table, and one for our expense table. And what we've got inside of here, our region, our region appears three times. It, it appears here, sort of to indicate our location. It appears here, which I've marked in maroon. And it also appears here. So they're, th they're two different data sets with a one table to join them. So this has got unique regions inside there. Whereas the many tables, the transaction tables, have got multiple instances of the region. So we're going to create the join in power pivot, and then we're going to create a couple of pivot tables just to show you how the concept works, then we'll connect them through a slicer that we'll create. All right, let's go forth and do that. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is going to make a table. So control T, and it says, do you have headers? Yes, I do. Click OK. Now, the next thing I want to do is if you go into the design mode, table one's not real good. Yeah, so you, you basically create a table and then give it a decent name. So I'll just call this location. All right, good stuff. Now we'll do the same thing in the revenue tab. So go into the revenue tab, control T, and then click OK. We're all good. And then design table two. Nope, we'll call this revenue. Nice. And then finally, we'll do the same thing with the expense table. So we'll go Control T, OK, and we'll call this expense, expense. Nice. OK, so now we've got three tables. So we can add these three tables to the data model. So in Power Pivot, go to the Power Pivot menu, and then we'll just go add to data model. So either one doesn't matter. We've got to do it three times. So we'll add to data model. And that's all good. That's gone in nicely. We'll do the same with the revenue tab. Add that to the data model. So just one by one, add to data model and then get out. And then our region, add that to our data model as well. All right. So now we've got three tabs, expense, our revenue and our location. Now what we want to do once we've got all three of those is we want to create a connection, sort of a many to one connection. So we go to diagram view and move these guys sort of more towards the center. We'll make them a little larger. Nice one. I'll put my location over there. Now you can go either direction when you do this. You can go region to drop into region or you can go region drop into region. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, uh, Power Pivot will say which is the one table and which is the many table. Yeah. So this table here needs to go to location. And now these two tables, the revenue and expense table, have been joined by the region. Yeah. So we can go in and create a pivot table now. So that everything's all been done. We don't need to do anything else. So we just want to hit this button here, which is create a pivot table. And we'll put it in a new worksheet. That's fine or good. I might just move that one here. And then I'll call this expense uh, pivot, EXP PIV. Yeah. And then I'll grab the information out of the pivot table here. So I'll say sub department, for example, and I might get the expense. Yeah. And we could sort of, we could do, overlay that with the quarters. Yeah. And maybe I'll format this. All nice, so home, format it. I don't like the way this pivot table looks, so I'll change that in design mode. This is not necessary, it's just um, a nice to have. So you basically just need a pivot table, and that is one for our expenses. Now, 
what I might do is I might go to the location. Now this is the key. I'll choose region and I'll make that my filter. Yeah. So at the moment it's filtered by nothing. And I'll make a copy of this entire table. I'll create a new tab. And then I'll paste that tab. Oh, not that. Control Z. So go in there, copy the whole thing. And paste it. Right, good stuff. Now this is all looking at the expense table. So what I want to do is I want to take everything except the filter at the top out. So just click and drag, click, drag. And then we want to go to the revenue table. Now remember our region filter is still in there. And we want to just choose some metrics to summarize by. So we used quarter last time, so I might hit that second. So I'll choose, uh, say, our department and then our quarter. And then I'll choose maybe our sales, yeah? And so now I've got a pivot table, looks the same way, kept the same formatting from the last one, got the commas, yep, everything's all good. So this is, and I might give this a name, I might say this is REV uh, pivot, P-I-V. All right, nice. All right, now, because these are my calculation tabs, and this is all nice to have as well, I'll just make them a different cover to my input sheets. All right, good stuff. So it's all ready to roll. So we'll just need to create a slicer. So we go into the pivot table. You have to click into the pivot table to get the analyze menu. So we click into the pivot table, analyze, insert slicer. And then we want to insert slicer based on the location. Yeah, that's important. Don't choose this one here. Don't choose this one down here, the region one. We want the location by region. Yeah, and then we click OK. And then we can check the veracity of that slicer. So we can say, okay, we want to summarize by Africa, and you see Africa just flies straight in there. But however, when we go into the expense pivot, you can see it's not filtered at all, yeah? And I might just move this just for aesthetics so we can see them at the same time. Like, I wouldn't do this ordinarily, but you can see we're not getting sort of anything going into this one. So now I don't have to go to both tabs, but I'd, ordinarily I'd leave it between the two sheets. So this is just for visuals, yeah? So what we want to do is we want to get these two distinct pivot tables to talk to one another through this intermediary, which is our slicer based on the location. So we right click the slicer and we, so, we say report connections, yeah? And we want to just hook up all of our pivot tables, yeah? Ordinarily, I'd just have two, as I said, but we're all good. So now we click, Africa comes over there. Does it work on multiple? Hold the control key, multiple. Is it the same? Click inside here. Africa, Asia, Pac, North America, South America. We left out Europe. Does this table say that? Most certainly it does. So that's how you can make a connection with a slicer using multiple tables to get the outputs of those tables to talk to one another. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more uh, Excel and VBA gear. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.